Welcome to episode three of my podcast. Today's podcast is going to be slightly different because you could also watch this podcast on YouTube. So if you're listening to me through your favorite podcast provider, hello, thank you for downloading and listening. Uh, Maybe leave a review and let me know if you want to see or hear more of these podcasts because I'm enjoying chatting to you all. And if you are on YouTube, hello, uh, comments down below. Let me know if you want to see more of the podcast film because I don't want to film each podcast because I quite like the format of the podcast being not a YouTube video. So maybe in that comment section down below for the YouTube watchers on my YouTube channel, Mark Crossfield, down there below let me know if you want me to film more of them and I will. So today's question to my two very special guests we've got Coach Lockie and Rory Anderson from Your Golf Travel on today and because we've traveled around the world so much playing golf over the years today's question is going to be when everything is safe when all lockdowns are done and we've got a vaccine and everything's able to travel. So I understand lockdowns in different countries are happening in dribble out kind of places. I know that it's going to be a process of watching how the R number evolves and if we can keep it down. So I understand all that. This is a dream chat. If everything is safe in, in months, maybe hopefully not years to come and we can all travel, where would we go and play and why? So what are the reasons for choosing whatever destinations we're about to choose? Should be a fun one. Let's see what Rory and Coach have got to say. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my uh, my my casting of a pod. We're casting our pods. Have you ever cast a pod before? Uh, I've never cast my pod. No, well, here you go. He said a big question, and we'll start with Matthew, shall we? Yes. Where would you play if lockdown ended tomorrow? And obviously the idea is that you are allowed to travel because we're not talking about the intricacies of how lockdown will will work because obviously I understand it will probably be, you know, staggered and the rest of it. Let's just pretend the world's open. You can fly if you need to or not. Where are you going, Matthew? So I want good golf sun good food (laughs) (laughs) not much then no not too bothered at the moment about the nights out so i'm thinking more i'm gonna pick turkey oh yeah i like that yeah like the golf courses in that area like we know are like amazing in such a small area and you've got loads of golf courses do i have to pick a course or is that area okay yeah, no, that area is okay. My next question would have been, I mean, that wasn't on my radar. I wouldn't, I didn't think you were going to choose that, but I totally get why you have. Um, what do you think, Ray? Did you think he was going to say that? Uh, no, I'm surprised. Uh, not in the fact that I don't think Turkey's a good choice, but I wasn't expecting that either. Um, yeah, Turkey's awesome. And I think because people are going to be so desperate to play as much golf as possible and kind of just go crazy, in terms of food and drink and stuff like that, all inclusive is amazing, and you can do unlim- unlimited golf in at various resorts as well, which is like thirty six a day. So I think yeah, that ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I get that. Like that is properly like I want to immerse myself in all things golf food i don't want to open my wallet. I want to open it prior to going, and then I just want to just be golf food bed. Golf food bed practice as well. <laughs> but uh, that's what Turkey turns into, then, yeah, doesn't it? it and, is, in a yeah, good way. Yeah. It's like just great golf, great golf. All the people that I know that go there on holiday too are like 36 holes, 36 holes, 36 holes every day. <laughs> so I'm going to so push you then. What course? Where would you base yourself? You've got to pick one. I know my answer for this one. Go on, Ray. Where would you go then? My favourite in Turkey is. Um, PGA Sultan. Yes, uh, that's a good one. See, I'm probably Gloria. It's close because there's so many, like, eight, nine out of tens and ten out of tens out there. Like, the quality across the board is amazing. It is, yeah. Having been there twice now, yeah, it's just, I love Sultan. Yeah, it is good. I'm picking uh, Max Royale Montgomery because it's a little more open. 
Yeah. And you can do night golf there as well. <laughs> and you can night golf there. So that's like 72 hole potential. <laughs> and well, joking aside, night golf is a fantastic. You see the response it always gets yeah. when we post it on the YouTube channel. Um, people love watching it because obviously you get to see the ball flight. But it is one of those things that you feel like you're cheating in life, isn't it? Like it's night time and I'm still able to play golf and it's still fun. It, it, it's still as good fun as when you play in normal conditions. It's You totally feel like it's one of life's cheats, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's big, just seeing the ball flight is, yeah. is a yeah, lot of fun. It is cool. And if I was really treating myself, I would stay there too. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. very fair. Max Royale yeah. and then get on that beach Max as Royale well. And, um, Reg, yeah. uh, Regnum and Max Royale are the two that are like, wow, 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 wow. So there you go, guys. Turkey. Ray, I've unlocked you from your room. That little room that I keep seeing you in. You're still in there, bro. <laughs> um, still here. Still I've, here. I've unlocked the door and I've given you your passport. Where are you heading and do you even need to use it? Um, yes, I would need to use it because we're going to the other side of the world. I thought about this a lot, actually, and there's a lot of places which I would revisit. But I thought I would take this opportunity to pick somewhere that we haven't been for golf and that would be australia oh yeah that's you two have both curveball this and i really like it i like that idea yeah go for it ray because at the moment as well you wouldn't be bothered about the like 24 hours of travel either would you i'd quite yeah. quite enjoy it i'd be like on there going let's just fly me let's fly again <laughs> 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 I'm weird. I absolutely love long haul flights. Yeah, I don't have a problem with them. I don't have a problem. It with feels them. like time that you have zero responsibility. And even if you do, you don't have any option but to just sit there and <laughs> do the hours. So it's kind of like, it feels like freedom to me. Um, so I think I'd enjoy the flight. <laughs> and when we get there, obviously, like you said, Matt, you got the weather. It's a place we've never been, or I've never been. Uh, I think you have, Mark, haven't you? I've uh, been to Australia. Yes, yeah, so I've been to Melbourne and Sydney and Perth, and I'm desperate to go back. It, we've always talked about um, Australia, but it's the the issue with how long of travel it is compared to how long we need to or can afford to be away from our families. Stroke, then how long we get to actually film there, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, we're all desperate. Yeah, because like, you'd want you'd, you'd you'd almost want like minimum of two weeks, wouldn't you? Um, when you're travelling for twenty difficult. hours each way. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere in particular in Oz you would go. I mean, sand belt is obviously one of the yeah, biggest. Yeah, yeah, the sand belt would be the one I'd be aiming for. So like, obviously you want to tick off courses like rural Melbourne. Yeah. Um, but there's some there's some other ones that your golf club will sell as well. Like uh, you could do Tasmania, which is obviously a separate island yep. to the main bit yep. of Australia. But you have got like a uh, Barn Bugle Dunes, and there's lots of amazing golf courses in the overall bit of Australia. You would have to, to you would have it. to bolt on New Zealand to that as well, wouldn't you? Because I mean, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our good friend Andrew Kate Rice, kidnappers, yeah, has been there. Cowry Cliffs, pictures he posts from yeah. there. It's like I've got to get there and see these. <laughs> yeah. So that would be my one. It would be obviously a long trip. <laughs> um, Good choice, but, though, Ray. Good choice. Yeah. Like it. Like it. Oz, it, here we come. But I've struggled with this. I've struggled with this question. You know, for me, it could be as simple as going and playing Stover Golf Club with Fanula and my mum and dad, to be honest, because that says, A, that we're allowed to spend time with our family who don't give us again, um, and just that special time of playing golf where I don't even really play. Like, I hit the ball, but I'm not even there as a golfer concentrating on me. I'm chatting to mum and dad, and I'm watching Fanu play, and that's quite special for me. So that kind of was one of my first ones that went in my head, but if I was going to go more selfish, you know, and, <laughs> and which which I'm like able us. to like, like I, I'm able to do. <laughs> yeah, this is a fantasy game after all. <laughs> so I would probably go, and again, I struggled to find one place, because I, I'm feeling this, so stick with me, okay? I think Bay Hill. When we played Bay Hill, and the pictures I have on my phone when I look back at Bay Hill, they are some of the most unbelievable images of a golf course I've ever taken without ever in any way trying to take an unbelievable image. You know what it's like when we film? It's like you've got the camera in one hand, sometimes you get the phone out in the other and you stick it up. You're literally holding two cameras at once and you're just clicking because I need some to document where I am. 
And the pictures that came out of Bay Hill when I was just literally clicking in between filming and shots are just stunning. The light, the whole atmosphere of the place. I mean, I properly fell in love with Bay Hill as a course how quiet and beautiful it was when we were there and obviously all the history around there with Arnie and stuff. But for me, that part of Florida isn't particularly where then I want to go. You know, it's not my favorite place in the world, certainly not in America. So I'm gonna go, I need, we need to go to Bay Hill and play and I wanna play all 18, which we didn't get a chance to play when we were there because we ran out of time. Yeah, I was gonna say, we ran out of holes, didn't we? we ran out of light, didn't and we? we so. And it needs to be the evening because I want that sun setting again, which is from some of the pictures yeah. I've got. You want the man bun silhouette. The man bun silhouette, <laughs> yeah. like without trying, that was just such a classic picture. Uh, but then, because what happens from there is it's not too hard to then fly to Vegas. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew you were going to say so, that. So my initial thought, my, my initial thought was let's just go to Vegas and then you've got golf, you've got craps, you've got fun. You know, it's just fun, isn't it? Vegas is you, just you've got, fun. You've got me yeah. getting sacked finally. Yeah, you've got Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Rory doing finally self, getting self inflicted <laughs> furlough. <laughs> Phoning up your go travel going, I'm going to furlough myself for the next four days just to let you know. <laughs> I also had Vegas as an option for if the night out was on the top of my list. Yeah, so, so the thing is... That is was my second. Because we've not particularly played overly spectacular courses in Vegas. Wolf Creek, I would like to take you both to Wolf Creek. It is amazing. You've got to experience Wolf Creek. It is stunningly funny and amazing in places. And it is, But Bay Hill, for me, I want to play. It's, it's one of those courses that I just would love to go back. It's stuck with me for a very long time uh, in my head. It's just always there. And again, when I go through my images on my phone, which I love doing, because we have amazing images on our phone of the places we've been to, haven't we? When you look back, it's like, wow, cool, we went there, went there. And the Bay Hill pictures literally just pop. Because the thing that was lucky with Bay Hill, we played in the evening and you get the best light in the morning and the evening. So we were literally getting it at its most romantic time. But then like I say, that, that area is not doing it for me. So then once we've done Bay Hill, I, then we'll hop in on a plane, we'll go to Vegas. I'm not particularly fussed like golf. Private jet. Well, if we do proper <laughs> fantasies then why? But <laughs> you, you like Laurel so much, right? I thought you'd go the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you did forget one other really important thing about Bay Hill as well, and that is to collect more teas. And as you so rightly say, Matthew, you absolutely yeah. can just smash Best the tea game. Golf. Yeah, it's hard to even tee a ball up on them, so I don't feel like I've got enough of them <laughs> to qualify actually using them. So they just sit in my little golf pouch staring at me going, don't you dare use me, you'll break me, you'll yeah. break me. So that's my... That's, that's, so we've gone... Um, We've gone Turkey. All around the world. Oz and America. Um, and, and yeah, we basically go to Turkey, then to Australia, then yeah. around and the UK. to America. I chose don't the we? UK Just... as well, so we have got the UK in there. Yeah, I mean, I would play at my home course as, as an obvious Yeah, choice, well, I think but, that's uh... what most people will be thinking. When it Just the just the ability to be able to go and play your home course with whoever you choose to play, rather than whoever yeah, yeah. your governments tell you you're allowed to be with. Yeah would make the scary thing about vegas is that you two would be my tour guides that was frightening <laughs> no but speak of dad dad has been to vegas with me twice and both times he came out thinking it was a cash point literally thinks it's a yeah. cash point doesn't he matt <laughs> Yeah, you go there just to bring some money home, lovely. <laughs> he goes there and he stands next to me on the craps table and whatever I do, he just copies and then we just both go home take with some money. He's like, is it really this easy? I say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go there yeah, to but... pay for your holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's, a bit, Dan's a bit more sensible than me. So. No, you're not in Vegas, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> <Is he not? laughs> Thanks, guy. There you oh. go. You've, all, you've cast your pods now. Pods have been cast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pod has been casted. Always fun chatting to the guys. Hopefully soon we'll be able to get out on the course and all start playing again together and go into some fantastic locations again. Maybe in the comments section down for the YouTube watchers, let me know where would you choose to play. So don't pick Augusta because I think we would all choose that. Pick something that is maybe slightly obtainable to your golfing 
world and let us know why you would choose that place is it because of the night out is it because of only the course is it because you can take your family there what are the reasons in the comments down below for the youtubers and everyone listening on the podcast maybe um hit me up on my social channels so twitter at full golf online instagram at crossfield mark and on facebook mark crossfield let me know the reasons for why you would choose where you would go and play if we are able to get out fly or not fly because it might be local as well to you rather than traveling i'd love to hear your thoughts thanks all for listening thanks all for watching if you're watching on the youtube channel again remember let me know if you want to hear more podcasts if you've got some ideas of what you would like me and other guests that we would like to get on to chat about in the comment section down below for the youtubers and obviously hit me up on my social channels for the podcast listeners thanks keep safe everybody and hopefully we'll be all out playing golf very very soon thanks for listening Speak to you all soon.